Oh yeah. Hello everyone, my name's MV Perry, and today I want to talk about some tips when it comes to cosplaying. Also, before the video starts, I want to thank Joe Stans B and C for drawing most of the art in the video. Now, there's different levels of cosplayer. There's the beginner cosplayers who are just starting out, and then there's the cosplayers who've been doing this for years and even make money off of it. But today, I'm not talking about people like that. I'm talking about the beginners and basically you, because I'm pretty sure that's the only reason why you clicked on this video is because you wanted to get started on cosplaying, right? One thing to always remember when it comes to cosplaying is it doesn't have to look exactly like the character 100%. You make it your own. That's how cosplay works. So you could have it look exactly like it, or you could literally just wear a wig of that that character and then casual clothes and call it casual version and if you wanted to be a samurai version of a character or a pirate version of a character I mean literally you do you you customize it you make it your own it's your choice and speaking of making it your own don't worry about the ethnicity of the character I mean there's a lot of people who are white black Asian Hispanic I you know literally cosplay any character don't worry about race it's up to you you make it your own another thing to remember is when you're cosplaying in public especially at conventions there's a pretty good chance that some people are gonna want to take pictures of you so you want to make sure that you got some good poses down because you know what happens whenever someone takes a picture of me in my cosplay I just I just stand there and smile I mean that's not very good so I've been practicing poses in the mirror and that's basically what you need to do because that way if someone does take a picture of you you'll at least have a cool pose to do instead of just standing there and let's just say you do have a pose in mind well if you do it might not look exactly what you're thinking it would look like so that's why I suggest practicing in the mirror so you know exactly what it looks like because it can look a lot different in a picture than you might have thought it would look in your head another big thing to remember is makeup and you know I'm a guy and guys don't really use makeup as much but when it comes to cosplay, I might put some light makeup on, and makeup really does change a lot. Seriously, I I'm telling you. You could have a really good cosplay in terms of the outfit and everything, but if you don't have makeup... <laughs> like I said before, you don't have to look perfect, but if you were trying to look more professional, makeup is a big game changer. Sometimes it's better not to use makeup, because you'll look a little more casual and maybe even more approachable. When it comes to getting your actual cosplay, I found it ends up looking better if you use real materials and make it yourself than buying a store-bought cosplay. And what I mean by that is when you buy a cosplay from a store or online, it's something that's mass-produced and made of cheap material. But if you were to use your own materials, it'll look a lot more realistic. It's good to be creative, and you can save a lot of money by being creative. And let me tell you, the best time to go to thrift stores for cosplay stuff is right around Halloween, because that's when all the costumes are there. And if you go shopping the day after Halloween, or like right before, Goodwill will have all these special sales. During Halloween season, I've been able to find all sorts of cool stuff, like a Mario costume, Luigi costume, Naruto costume. I mean, the chances of you finding something very specific Specific, like a uh, Monaco Magica Saika cosplay is gonna be pretty small but more common characters you'll probably be able to find and like I said before if you wanted to get materials there's a bunch of cool materials you could build off of too I know there's a lot of people I like to call them closet cosplayers or indoor cosplayers because this is the problem is that they want to cosplay so they order all this cosplay stuff they put it on and then they just sit in their house all day and, and then take it off and go to bed like why would you do that you didn't share it with anybody part of the joy of cosplaying is sharing it with others and you know if you're the kind of person that really doesn't like to get out and interact with people I understand I'm an too, but you should at least share it online. You gotta show somebody, even if it's just your close friend group. You want to have a good time and get feedback on how it looks. And speaking of friends, cosplaying is way more fun when you do it with friends. And that's not an understatement at all. I'm telling you, it can go from awkward and boring when you're by yourself to if you have a bunch of friends around you who are all cosplaying, you feel like you can take over the world. I mean, I I'm not telling you guys to go be obnoxious and take over every Taco Bell in existence, but what I'm trying to say is you'll feel a lot better going around and cosplay with your group than by yourself. You'll mess around take videos be obnoxious but you know you're gonna have a good time and that's what really matters and that brings us to the last thing which is always remember to have fun this is the number one goal of cosplay there's times when people turn into a competition there's times when people turn into some vanity thing where all they care about is how they look and not having fun if that's how you want to do it then that's up to you but I'm just saying the best way to cosplay is to have fun see how it rhymes best way to cosplay is to have fun if it rhymes it means it's right right just remember to have fun and comment down below what your next cosplay is gonna be assuming you do do cosplay because I don't know why you would click this video if you weren't interested in it. And if you don't cosplay after watching this video, then you're stupid. Remember to go check out Joe Stan's BNC's Tumblr because that's what they wanted me to shout out. They did a great job with the art. Give them some support. My name's MV Perry, and I'll see you in the next video.